Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to be opening this mail. Most of which is fan mail, so I have no idea what's in here. Thank you so much. Also, some things I ordered myself, I think. But yeah, thank you everybody. I can't wait to find out what's inside. Let's uh, get started with this unboxing. So in regards to the new backdrop, I'm working on it, okay? Pretty soon this will look sick. I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, this one here, I believe, is a sample for the twins. A Pampers sample. Woohoo! More diaper changing. Thank you to whoever signed us up for more free diapers. This one came from Amanda and Steve. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. The blade always works better though. So here we go. Oh wow. A Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Thank you, Amanda and Steve. Oh, there's a letter. But that battle pack just came gushing out of there. Dear Brixie family, we are AFOLs from Toronto, Ontario, and we love watching your channel every day. We started watching at the beginning of the pandemic and it inspired us to start our own collection. We have included some pictures of what we've made so far. Love all the changes being made in the LEGO city. Keep up the good work from Amanda and Steve. P.S. Congrats on the twins. They are adorable. Well, thank you so much. Well, there we go. Look at that. We have the LEGO orchid beside a real orchid. That's a cool way to make a display. Looks like we've got some Disney fans up in here as well. Steamboat Willie, the Disney castle, Mickey and Minnie. The Mickey art in the bottom there along with some travel stuff. Very cool. And then we've got an architecture shelf right there. Nice. And oh, here's some more of the flowers that they collected as well. So thank you so much, Amanda and Steve. I appreciate the battle pack. You can never go wrong with snow troopers. Snow troopers, snow troopers. Yes. I love snow troopers. Okay, this one here says Pop Tart. It's from Tanner Harris. I don't know if that's a spelling error on the uh, customs form, but it says Pop-Tart. If this is an edible Pop-Tart, beautiful. <laughs> Maybe it is a Pop-Tart. I think that would be hilarious. Oh my gosh, it is literally Pop-Tarts. What? No way, <laughs> that's hilarious. Hey Brixie, my name is Tanner and I'm one of the truck drivers that listens to your live videos like it's a podcast. I believe it was the Atari video where you said Pop-Tarts were your guilty pleasure and someone mentioned brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tarts and you said they didn't have them in Canada. Brown sugar is my favorite and when I saw these at the store, I had to get them for you. Thanks for all the great videos, Tanner. That is hilarious. Literally Pop-Tarts, everybody. They've got the brown sugar ones. I've never had those before and they're definitely my guilty pleasure. So thank you so much, Tanner for the Pop-Tarts. I for sure thought that was a spelling error. Like I thought it was pop art or portrait or something, but no, it was literally Pop-Tarts. All right, we've got one here that came directly from Amazon to my PO box. This is a gift from Jelmer. Thank you so much. I'm guessing it's stuff for the kids. Diaper Genie sent things. Nice. Also, we got extra absorbent dribble catching bibs. Perfect. I need those for myself when I eat. You know, I make a mess on my shirt, so I need those. <laughs> Thank you so much. The kids could never have enough bibs, so we do appreciate it. Also, Baby Signals. It's a uh, book for the twins. I'm sure they will enjoy that. Thank you so, so very much. And then we have some dish slash bottle soap. So thank you so much for all of the baby gifts from our registry, these will definitely come in handy. Thank you. Nothing wrong with a little bit of baby stuff. I appreciate it, or we appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The babies are upstairs, it's actually Halloween right now. Ooh, there's some interesting Lego in this one. This one here is from Shane, it says, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Brixie, I'm a Lego fan of yours, and I am trying to make a Lego city and forest. And he's got us some stuff for the zoo. Also, these could be used in the ocean. Thank you so much, Shane, check it out, everybody. We've got an assortment of dolphins. We actually have an assortment of dolphins there. Little dolphins, full-growing dolphins. These are gonna look great in the zoo or underwater. And underwater is actually a scene that I've been meaning to work on for quite some time. So thank you so much for the additional dolphin family. I think this is something that I ordered. I could be wrong though, I've been wrong before. Yes, yes it is. Okay, this is gonna be something that's going to improve my videos moving forward, I hope. 
sometimes I buy video equipment intending for it to improve the quality of our videos and sometimes it just doesn't work out. But I think this is gonna work out nicely here. And it's actually a light bar that can be attached on the top of your camera. It can also be attached to tripods and stuff like that. So it's just gonna improve the lighting in our Lego room. I mean, we have LED pot lights, so it's pretty well lit down here, but sometimes we just need a little bit more light. So I decided to try one of these light panels. Holy cow. This is a big old box of stuff. I'm guessing this is more Pop-Tarts. Uh, I want a year supply of Pop-Tarts. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This box is huge. I can't believe we got Pop-Tarts in today's mail. That's insane. Okay. Oh. Oh. Mm. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. That's intense, man. This is like a giant box of goodies in here. This is wild. There's a, a letter, we better read that first. So this is from uh, Carol and Michael. Thank you so much, Carol and Michael. It says, uh, greetings fellow Canucks, yes. My uh, husband and I are huge Lego enthusiasts. We started doing Lego a couple of years ago as a shared pastime and love it. During the second year of COVID, we came across one of your videos. And from that moment on, my husband and I were hooked. Your videos are informative, fun, and a real homage to all the fun and enjoyment that LEGO can bring to our lives. Well, thank you. I love hearing that. Absolutely amazing. Uh, we love that both yourself and Jose have made LEGO your family business. Your dedication, creativity, and incredible ability to connect with your audience is evident given all the fans who follow you. Well, thank you. I wouldn't be able to do it without you, so it's amazing. I'm a big modular building fan while my husband is dedicated to all things mechanical like cars, motorcycles, trucks, etc. We managed to amass a modest collection of Lego friends, Lego city, minifigures, and other smaller builds before we found our niche. With retirement, they have started downsizing, so they've decided to gift some items. Well, thank you so much. Each is pre-built and bubble wrapped, and they hope that I can use these in the Lego city. I'm sure we will. You betcha. We wanted to also pass on congratulations on the birth of your beautiful babies, Millie and Benjamin. It is just a marvel to watch the growth and evolution of your channel and witness the start of your family simultaneously. You and Jose are amazing people and have an incredible ability to connect with others. It is rare to find such honest down to earth folks on the internet who have integrity and want to support others. Warmest wishes from Ontario and keep up the amazing work, Carol and also Michael. Thank you so much. That means a lot and thank you. I'm glad that we're able to, you know, connect with so many people through the channel and so many people have told us that, you know, like the channel has made them happy or got them into Lego and it's just amazing to think. It's simply incredible. It's beyond words and I mean, this is unnecessary. I, I highly appreciate it though. It's, it's actually crazy. Like, Thank you. Let's find out what's inside this box. Okay, so it looks like the first one here is a Lego City train. And it's this train right here. This is definitely one that I don't have. And definitely something that I'll be able to integrate into the city. Speaking of Lego trains, I've been meaning to readdress my trains here, which I will be doing in the very near future. I'm still thinking about that raised train track line. Also, I'm still thinking about, well, I'm not thinking about it, but I will be reintegrating the baseline so that we can get trains moving in our Lego city. And this will be a great addition. So thank you. Next up, we have this stage right here, which looks like it's part of a different city set. And this one, I know exactly where we're gonna put it. We're gonna put it in the amusement park. We're gonna set up a stage for a live concert. Thank you, that is so cool. This box is never ending, folks. Looks like we have a Speed Champions here. This is the uh, Audi R8, I believe it is. Nice, the Audi Speed Champions vehicle. Then we have this little winter scene right here, which would be actually really good for the winter village. Everything is so nicely bubble wrapped. Incredible. Here's a little food stand, which will look really good anywhere in the Lego city or also in the amusement park. Looks like we've got a friend's camping set here. Of course, that'll look good in the campground. This tent is actually very highly detailed. I love the vinyl element. This is part of the Ski Chalet set. No way, we got the Ideas Vintage Car promo, which will look great in the LEGO City. I'm gonna go place that right now. And another vehicle for the LEGO City. There we go. 
Yes, another ice cream truck for the city. Another tow truck as well. A very spiffy looking limousine here. Nice, I definitely don't have this limousine. In fact, I don't have any limousines in the uh, Lego city. There's a rescue helicopter in here. Another vehicle with a charging station. The Speed Champions McLaren. Another Speed Champions vehicle. The hot rod from the uh, car garage set. Also the ski patrol vehicle, which will look great in the city streets of the, uh, well, on the city streets or in the winter village. There's also this city burger diner right here, which can be used in a mock and stuff like that. Some great pieces in there. There's the, uh, used car trailer, another helicopter in here from the ski patrol set. And then this is the main building from the car garage. That's awesome. I actually have one of these sealed and I've been meaning to build a modular building. So with the addition of all of these pieces, I'm gonna be able to build a car garage modular building sometime. Construction vehicle in here. Looks like some promos in this little envelope. And then another little, oh, a little skate park element in there with some good elements and stuff like that and good minifigures. We got the 12 in one building kit. Oh my gosh, it never ends. We got the 40th anniversary train. Also another 40th anniversary train, which is absolutely amazing. Like, oh my gosh, there's also a sealed Stranger Things brickhead in here. That's crazy, thank you so much. Well, I'm just like at loss for words right now. Carol, Michael, Tanner, Steve, everybody. Thank you for all of the amazing stuff. Like I, I'm speechless, speechless. I'm gonna have to get integrating all of this stuff into the city. And if it's stuff that I have duplicates of, like the Audi or some of those speed champions, I'll give that away. I'll, I'll re, uh, re give it. Everybody like this is amazing. Oh yeah, we also got the dolphins as well from Shane and then all the baby stuff from Jelmer. Thank you. This is crazy. I, I thank you. It's it's awesome. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the channel, and I look forward to uh, continuing and cleaning up the mess behind me there. That's for sure. I can't wait to make this look awesome because this is my new backdrop, so it needs to look awesome behind us. Got some good ideas brewing. It's just a matter of getting to it. It's actually Halloween right now, so I got to go hand out candy. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Amazing. I'm gonna go eat some pop tarts hand out some Halloween candy, show the twins their new gifts, and sort of start unpackaging and uh, processing all of this stuff. Wow, thank you so much. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.